Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you tonight. Going to film an awesome video. I love talking about this. I'm going to show you my three favorite vari types or you know varieties of flowers that I am loving to put and place and plant in my gardens every single year. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. Now you can have perennial um, gardens, obviously for pollinators. I have those. You can also have herb gardens. So they're going to accomplish a lot of those things. Are going to accomplish what these do accomplish, which is to attract pollinators right but these are so striking and they are for the most part annuals now they will reseed themselves uh, as you can clearly clearly see behind me a lot of the things that I have popping up in my gardens particularly up here in my back to Eden garden um, came up on their own again so but I want to talk to you about these seeds all of these seeds come from Baker Creek heirloom I love them, do you not? I mean, honestly, just fantastic products all the time. So I'm gonna talk about the three main flowers and I have a couple varieties of each, okay? So we're gonna talk about it. So as you can see, we're gonna start with sunflowers. Alrighty guys, right here we have what is known as the primrose. Uh, this is my favorite, okay? I love all sunflowers, who does not? But these are so magnificent not only because of their height and their strength, but because they have multiple blooms. I hope you, can, hope you can see all the bees on them. The multiple amount of blooms that it puts out. Now there is another type that I'm gonna come over here to and show you that's very similar. So I'm gonna show you two types. And honestly, if it wasn't for a little bit of height, which I'm pretty certain on, um, in terms of differences, they're very much the same. So I like more of this multiple bloom approach. Um, again, you're talking about four to six inches in, in, you know, in width there. Some of the ones at the top get a little bit higher uh, and also obviously get a little bit more spread in diameter. So this is the primrose, okay? P-R-I-M-R-O-S-E. If you are into the Hunger Games, you know what I'm talking about there. Very attractive on the sides and borders of your garden. Uh, I've had some come up this year from last year, and we just let them grow. We just let them go, baby. Now over here... This is the Italian white variety. Same idea, but not near as tall as far as I can tell. The reason I'm having a little bit of a disclaimer on that is because I planted seeds, but I also have a lot of seeds that came up from last year. So I wanna show you the two favorite in terms of types that I've bought from Baker Creek Heirloom. I bought the Hopi and I bought up several different others. Um, but I'm telling you, I go back and back and back to this, okay? So be sure to check this out. Now, the next flower I want to talk about, and a lot of these, as my great-grandmother would always say, it's spent. That means when it's coming to where a lot of them have bloomed and are starting to, you know, dry, as she call, always called that being, you know, that's spent. These are their zinnias. Zinnias, to me, are just pure happiness. I mean, some flowers are too, but I will always have zinnias at every home that I have in every garden. And again, I wish I had done more. I always plant, and I'm like, oh, that'll be good. And then I go, oh, I wish I'd done more. This is the California, or like the, the California variety. They're big, okay? A lot of these get really, really large. You get all these awesome multiple colors of yellows and go big orange and white and yellow and all in between. And I'm telling you, yesterday, it was covered in butterflies. They were really, really, really dancing around on this. Of course, the sun's going down, so things are starting to go to bed, right? So I want you to check this out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other garden and I'm gonna show you another variety of the zinnias that I've been planting um, from Baker Creek. These right here, I bought new this year, okay? Um, I did not do my due diligence with this particular last year, but I will this year um, because I seed saved from other things. So I bought new, but I'm telling you, the seed saving from Baker Creek is incredible. So I, you know, if you're really good with planting and enjoying these things and really good with saving the seeds, you're not gonna be disappointed. Let's head to the other garden. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so we're in the other garden and this is the peppermint or the peppermint stripe variety that you can get from Baker Creek. You can see that the zinnias are not quite as big in terms of diameter, but you get these magnificent stripes. I mean, it looks like somebody came in and painted it and then took a fine 
fine pencil or you know just in sketched in these beautiful colors and it happens in yellows and reds and pinks and orange so these are the ones that I seed saved last year or excuse me yes last year and replanted again and in a lot of places they were coming up on their own I have these rogue I try to as much as possible when I have rogue um, plants come up I let them go I love to see that it just really is awesome to know that these things can regenerate and reseed and whatnot and again you can see some of these are you know drying up and spent but we have a lot of new still coming on so this is the peppermint and you will love these I love that right there that is just so magnificent so check those out as well all right guys if there's one thing that I'm going to urge you to absolutely add to your garden again this is evening so everything is getting a little bit darker and the sun's going down I'm gonna show you some pictures as well and I'm just walking all of this that you see was completely replanted from seed that I seed saved in fact in one of my videos last year I'm see you can see me you know pulling from it that's what the seed that's what it looks like this is your bright light cosmos Cosmos comes in all kinds of different colors, and I encourage you to try all of them, but I'm telling you, this is amazing. The bees absolutely love it. They are these beautiful, bright, rich orange flowers. Extremely pollinator friendly, one of the most recommended ones for that, and they just take over the glory of this bright color and the edge of the garden I specifically put it by my corn so when all these bees came in they were just flipping out over the sunflowers from the corn tassels all the way over to the bright light cosmos how does it get any prettier than that I just don't know so be sure to check it out look at that go big orange right if you like this video like and subscribe check us out on Facebook Instagram and Pinterest be sure to check out our new group like and comment and subscribe and all those cool things look here see that's what they turn into i'm going to seed save all of that so spread the love on that and get those pollinators in your gardens we will talk to you soon and i hope you enjoy this video and we're getting a beautiful breeze feels great y'all have a great night